Right, our topic for today is pretty short and sweet. Uh, it's called data transmission. Let's have a look what we've got then. So we're going to look at infrared waves today. Uh, infrared is used in remote controls as a way of uh, transferring information from your remote to your TV. And they're also used as passive heat sensors. So that means that they detect the infrared waves that are given off. So infrared is basically just heat and the passive heat sensors just detect heat from people going past. So it's a way of detecting if there are people somewhere because you suddenly detect this big spike of heat. Because being warm-blooded creatures, we give off heat, which is infrared. And that's it, really, for the infrared bit. Next is uh, analog versus digital. Now, we've already talked a little bit about digital. So I've mentioned that digital uh, is signals that can either be on or off. They're just binary, basically. It's one option or the other. And we send that information in a series of pulses. So digital is what we move to a lot now. Analog is um, signals that vary all the time. So if you have a look at this one, it goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, all over the place. There's no clear pattern. It could be any value. And examples of this are talking. So uh, my voice now coming over this is an analog signal. And, and we hear the analog. The digital signal is just on or off. And then we have periods of on and periods of off. And that is all the information that we need. We then, the size of the ons and the offs is a code and we turn that into information. With the analog, it's the height of the peak at any given time that gives you the information. So the analog signal is a code where, uh, sorry, the digital signal is a code, whereas the analog signal, all the information is just there as you need it. Now, digital has a lot of advantages, because if I send a digital signal, it's possible to send more than one signal, more than one piece of information down a single cable. This is something we call multiplexing. All I have to do is send them at slightly different amplitudes, and I can see the difference between an on and an off for computer A versus computer B. And we call this multiplexing. It's really, really useful. Uh, the internet wouldn't work nearly so fast if we couldn't do this. The other advantage of digital is that we can amplify it without getting any background noise in the signal. Basically, whenever we send a signal, there will be some noise. Um, it'll get a bit distorted. So my signal might start off beautiful like this, but it'll end up getting a little bit distorted and a bit wobbly and a bit wavy because we're sending it long distances, it might go through you know, not the best conditions, I might lose some of my signal through the... Um, the end result is basically that we have a signal that doesn't look quite as, quite as pretty as it did before. It might also end up being um, slightly lower amplitude, but all I need to do is just amplify it again, and with my digital signal, I know it can only be on or off. So all this noise doesn't matter because I know, even though it's a bit wobbly here, that's clearly on. And over here, it's clearly got to be off when it's down at the bottom because that's the only option, on or off. And it's really easy to get past this noise and still get all the information down there. However, if I had an analogue signal and I got noise in it like this, it became a bit more bumpy, a bit more wobbly, I wouldn't know if that was the signal or the noise. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between what I wanted and what I didn't want. So the quality of the information would drop. Now you might have noticed with uh, radio signals, if you're on an analog radio, you get the static and the buzz and the signal isn't as nice, it's not as clear. With a digital radio, you can either hear it all and you can hear it beautifully or you can't hear it at all. And that is the difference, one of the main differences between analog and digital. And that's pretty much it for this topic. That's all we really need. We've already discussed the digital quite a bit, so hopefully it should be pretty familiar for you. Okay, remember, if you've got any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me in class.